Okay, I have a 7B on the horses. This is the first log that will actually cap over a window opening. I was hoping that I could cap over on A and C wall or the door and the window on C wall, but I would have had to cut out too much of my log and I just didn't want to do that. So I went another round of the shorter logs against the openings. But on B wall, the window that's in the B wall, I'll be able to uh, cut out a little bit where the opening is. I have have the log still on the horses and it is still leveled up and what I did where the window is going to be I trued this area up so that it matches uh, with the level where the notch faces are the inside face of the notch. I did that here and on, on both sides of the opening and there is my center line and I came down two and three quarters of an inch to where I'll actually cut this out. I've got it marked across here and I've got it stored and I got the line transferred to the outside. I, I worked off the outside center line and made the same layout and I just took my flexible ruler and connected these points here and here and just drew it and I took my utility knife and scored it. That's what I'll do. I'll cut about halfway down with a chainsaw on both sides and then I'll take a chainsaw and I'll plunge down alongside that line. I'll leave a little bit of it. I won't go right up against the line because it has a tendency to want to tear out and I'll just cut down through there with my saw in there, the tip of my saw in there about halfway and then when I flip the log over I'll do the same thing on the outside and this piece here will fall out. And there's some excess below that line. What I'm going to do is take a chainsaw and make a plunge cut below this line. This line is two and three quarters of an inch from the inside face and I will use either a two by three or a three by three piece of quarter inch angle iron and one side of it will go in the slot that I'll cut and the other will be on the, the, the side there and it go all the way to the bottom of the opening and I'll, I'll plunge my saw through far enough into the log that I know I have enough room for this log to settle. I'm making a motion of pulling my hand back towards the camera. This, this log will actually be up in the wall and that allow it to settle down and I'll leave about three and a half inches above the top of my window framing for the settling to take place. That's about a half inch per foot. Be just around seven feet to the, the cutout. Actually it's a little bit more than that but that's that's uh, the rule of thumb that I use that I go by and I've never had a log to settle down past that over an opening whether it's a window or a doorway. And I'm going to get my chainsaw and I'm going to make these two plunge cuts. Now I'm going to cut this way just a little bit also because when I put that angle iron in there I will have to kind of come in at a little bit of an angle and slide it up against this and then bring it this like this and then let it slide down into the slot that I'll cut on the, the bottom part of the, the opening.
even though I'm going to hew this log on the outside, I went ahead and put some masking paper up there just to keep that surface from soaking in the oil from off the tip of my chainsaw when I'm brushing with it like I did up on the cabin when I was cutting out the, uh, the bottom part of the, the window cutout. And then I'll have a flat spot here to put on for the blocking and one here and I should be set then with the angle iron in. Now I'm going to take my two inch chisel and I'm just going to pare down that line. I wanted to explain to you how I knew how far down to come from the center line to get this cut out. I needed 41 and a half inches from this point to the bottom of where the cutout is for my opening to allow for the settling over the window. And I just tacked a, a piece of plywood up here. Now this, I did this before B wall was up here. And I got my center line off a of seawall and made a mark on the board and I knew that the upper notch on seawall was 3 and 13 16 so I established that made this mark here and I knew also knew that on B wall the lower notch is 2 and 13 16 which is the same as seawall since they are in the same round this log here just sets over the seawall log and so I came up from what would have the the three and thirteen sixteenths another two and thirteen sixteenths in which that established the center line of B wall and I knew that I had to have 41 and a half inches in the clear so I measured up on my board and made a mark at 41 and a half inches and this is not something that I planned but actually it, it was just one of those things it worked out to where it was two and thirteen sixteenths down from the center line of B wall. And so all I had to do was just measure from the center line down two and 13 sixteenths to establish this, this point right here. And I was able to cut that out at that, that height. And then when this log went on the wall, this point right here was 41 and a half inches from the lower log that has the bottom cut out in it. I'll do the same thing on the header log that goes over the doorway on a wall. I'll, I'll do, do the same little simple thing here but just remembering what the, the notch dimensions the numbers are from the center line and you can establish where you need to come back down from a center line or go up from a center line to make a cut out. Uh, I'll do the same thing on round eight on a wall which will be the log that goes over the window and the doorway.